Okay, the materials you're going to need for your baby hat, I have a crochet hook J6 millimeter, and also my tapestry needle, and a pair of scissors. And you're also going to need the main color of your baby hat, and I'm using the Karen Jumbo, and this is Baby Rainbow. And then also just a pink yarn, soft pink yarn for the border. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the magic circle. So you're going to go ahead and take your yarn and just drape it across your four fingers and hold it in place with your thumb and then just loop it around your middle fingers twice and then hold it with your pinky and your thumb. And then go ahead and take your crochet hook. You're going to go under the two loops of the magic circle. You're going to yarn over. And then you're going to yarn over and then pull through the loop on the hook for your first knot. Now we're going to do 10 double crochets into the magic circle. So you're going to go under the magic circle, you're going to yarn over, and then you're going to yarn over, and then pull through two, and then yarn over for a second chain, and then yarn over for your third chain. And that's going to be your first double crochet. So now we're going to do 10 total. So go ahead and yarn over, go into the magic circle, yarn over, you have three loops on the hook, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, and go through two. And that's two double crochet into the magic circle. Go ahead and yarn over, Go into the magic circle, yarn over, yarn over and go through two, yarn over and go to, through two, and that's three, four, Oop, yarn over first, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and the last one, ten. Go ahead and take your forefinger and your thumb and just hold at the base of your 10 double crochets and then you can see the two loops on the opposite end of the magic circle you're going to pull on one of them if it doesn't pull then you're going to let go and then pull on the other loop and then that should close the circle and then take your loose yarn end and then pull on that and you can see how it closes your magic circle nicely and don't worry if you have a little hole there you can always close that later now what you're going to do is you're going to do a slip stitch at the top of the first double crochet you just go into the first stitch of the first double crochet yarn over and then pull through both loops on the hook and you make a nice little wheel so now we're going to go ahead and chain three that's going to be your first double crochet. One, two, three. So now you're going to do a double crochet into the same stitch. So go ahead and yarn over, go into the same stitch, yarn over, and you have three loops on your hook. Go ahead and yarn over and go through two, yarn over and go through two. So now what we're going to do um, our two double crochet into each stitch. So go ahead and yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, you have three loops on the hook, yarn over, go through two, yarn over and go through two. And then we're going to do another double crochet into the same stitch. And you're going to do that into every stitch. Do two double crochet in each stitch all the way around back to the beginning and then come back and I'll show you what to do next.
Okay, so you should be back to the beginning. So we're going to go ahead and do a slip stitch into the first double crochet. Go into the top stitch of that first double crochet, yarn over and pull through two. And now we're going to go ahead and chain two. One, two. And that's going to count as your first half double crochet. So we're going to go ahead and do another half double crochet in the same stitch, yarn over, go into the same stitch, yarn over, and then yarn over and pull through all three. So we have two half double crochet in the same stitch. And we're going to do two half double crochet in every stitch all the way around. Let's go ahead and yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, and pull through all three. Yarn over, go into the same stitch, yarn over, and then go through all three. So go ahead and do two half double crochet into every stitch all the way around back to the beginning. Okay, so your work should look like this. And we're going to go ahead and slip stitch into that top of that first half double crochet that we did. Yarn over and just pull through both loops on the hook. And you have a slip stitch done. So now we're going to do an increase round. Go ahead and chain two, one, two, and that's going to be your first half double crochet. And then into the next stitch, you're going to do two half double crochet. So yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, and then pull through all three. And then in the same stitch, you're going to do another half double crochet. Go ahead and yarn over, go into the same stitch, yarn over, and then pull through all three. So you're going to repeat this pattern. You're going to yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, and pull through all three for one half double crochet, and then two half double crochet in the next stitch. So one half double crochet, and then one stitch and then two half double crochets in the next stitch and you do that all the way around back to the beginning and then come back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so you should be back at the beginning. We're going to do a slip stitch into that first half double crochet. So go into the first stitch of that half double crochet and then you're going to yarn over and then just pull through both for a slip stitch. And now we're going to do our pattern for the hat. So go ahead and do chain two, one, two, and then we're going to do our first half double crochet cross stitch. Go ahead and yarn over and you're going to go ahead and skip the yellow stitch there and then go into the next stitch, that white stitch. And then you're going to yarn over you have three loops on your hook, go ahead and yarn over and pull through all three. And then yarn over, and you're going to go into this stitch that you skipped. And do a half double crochet. So I'm going to do that again for you. Go ahead and yarn over, and then you're going to skip a stitch. And go into the next stitch. You're going to yarn over three loops on your hook, yarn over, and then go through all three. And then you're going to yarn over, and you're going to go back into the stitch that you skipped, yarn over, three loops on the hook, yarn over, and then pull through all three. And then you're going to yarn over, you're going to skip the next stitch, go into the next stitch, Yarn over, yarn over, and then pull through all three. And then you're going to yarn over, go back to the stitch that you skipped, yarn over, and then you're going to yarn over and go through all three. And you can see that pattern. You're going to do that pattern all the way around to the beginning. Then you're going to do a slip stitch, chain two, and then repeat the pattern again. And you're going to do that for eight rows and then come back. Okay, you should be back and your work should look like this. 
And you can count, you see that you have eight rows, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And back at the beginning, so we're going to go ahead and do a slip stitch, go to the top of the previous half double crochet, yarn over, and then just pull through both loops on the hook. And now we're going to change color. Go ahead and get the color that you're using for your trim. And then you're just going to yarn over and then just hook it through your loop on the hat. And then go ahead and chain one. And then turn the work. And you can take and cut the previous color that you were using. And then just tie a knot. And then I'll do three just to make sure it's nice and secure. And then you're going to go ahead and do your first double crochet. And you're going to chain three. One, two, three. And that's your first double crochet. And we're going to bury both of our loose ends of yarn as we're doing our double crochets across the hat. Go ahead and yarn over. Go into the next stitch. Yarn over. You have three loops on the hook. Go ahead and yarn over and go through two. Two left on the hook. Go ahead and yarn over and go through two. And then you have your two double crochets. Go ahead and yarn over and go into the next stitch. Yarn over and go through two. Yarn over and go through two. And you're just going to do double crochets all the way around back to the beginning. And then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so you should be back to where you started. And we're going to go ahead and do a slip stitch to the first double crochet. So go ahead and go into the first stitch of that double crochet. Yarn over and pull through both. And you could leave your beanie just like this, and it would be really adorable. But I'm going to show you how to do the little scalloped shells. Go ahead and... Um, Chain three, one, two, three, and then we're going to go ahead and chain three, I mean, uh, do a double crochet into the same stitch. And then we're going to do another um, double crochet, go ahead and yarn over, go through the same stitch. And we're going to do one more. Yarn over, double crochet, into the same stitch. And then we're going to go ahead and do a slip stitch into the, um, we're going to skip a stitch and then do a slip stitch into the next double crochet. You're going to yarn over and go through that stitch and the loop on the hook. And then you're going to go ahead and do a double crochet into the same stitch. And then you're going to do three more double crochet. One. Two. and three. And then we're going to do a slip stitch. We're going to skip a stitch and do a slip stitch into the next stitch. Yarn over and then just pull through both loops. And then you're going to go ahead and do a double crochet. Yarn over, go through the same stitch, yarn over, Three loops on the hook, yarn over, go through two, yarn over and go through two. And then we're going to do three more 
double crochet into the same stitch And then we're going to do a slip stitch into, we're going to skip a stitch and do a slip stitch into the next stitch. So you go into that stitch, yarn over, and then pull through both loops on the hook. And you can see how it's making a really pretty shell all around the rim of the hat. So I'll do one more with you, and then go ahead. And you're going to finish doing this all the way around back to the beginning. So now you're going to go ahead and do a double crochet, yarn over, go into the same stitch, yarn over, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. And then you're going to do three more double crochet. One. Two. three and then you're going to skip a stitch and then you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch and you're just going to repeat this pattern all the way around until you get back to the beginning and then just come back okay so you should be back to where you started so we're going to go ahead and finish off go ahead and yarn over and then pull through the loop on your hook and pull enough for sewing into your work And then you're going to take your tapestry needle and you're just going to sew in the yarn end and just take the inside of your work and then just weave the yarn through and you're going to want to go a different direction as well. So you can go ahead and just weave through the side too and then go ahead and cut your yarn. And then on the turn it inside out and the original yarn that you used for your magic circle you can go ahead and pull that snugly and then we're going to go ahead and take the tapestry needle and sew that end in also so on the inside you can just kind of loop it through and then you can cut it And then you have your beautiful hat, and you can keep it like this, but I want to put a little flower on it, so I'm going to show you how to put the little flower. And I'm going to use pink for the flower. So go ahead and, what I do is I go ahead and cross it over, just like this, and then I hold it in place, and then put my hook through, and then I hold it with my middle finger and my thumb, then I yarn over, and then pull it through, for my slip knot. And you're going to go ahead and chain four. One, two, three, four. And then you're going to do a slip stitch into your first stitch. And then you're going to yarn over, move this out of the way, yarn over, and then you're going to pull through both loops on the hook and then you have a little ring that you're going to work into the center of. So go ahead and chain three, one, two, three, and then you're going to single chain into the center of the circle, and that's one loop. Go ahead and chain three, one, two, three, and then you're going to single chain into the circle, And that's two loops. Go ahead and chain three. One, two, three. Single chain into the circle. That's three loops. We're going to do two more. Chain three. 
one, two, three, and single chain into the circle. And then chain three, one, two, three. And then we're going to slip stitch into the starting single chain. So go into that starting single chain and then slip stitch both loops on the hook. And then you should have five rings around. One, two, three, four, five. And then you're going to slip stitch, actually, yeah, go ahead and slip stitch into the first chain three loop. Yarn over and then pull through the loop on your hook. And then you're going to go ahead and do chain three. One, two, three. And we're going to do five double chains total into that first chain three loop. So yarn over, go into that first chain three loop. Yarn over, you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, go through two, yarn over and go through two. And you can see you have two double crochets into that first chain three loop. Yarn over, go into that same chain three loop, yarn over, three on the hook, yarn over, go through two, yarn over and go through two. Now we have three double chains, we're going to do five total. And that's four. And five. Now you're going to slip stitch into your next chain three loop, yarn over, and then just pull through. And then we're just going to do a double crochet into that loop. So yarn over, go into that same chain three space, three on the hook, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, and go through two. So now we're going to do four more double crochets into that same chain three loop. It's two. Three. Four. And five. Now you're going to go ahead and slip stitch into the next chain three loop. So yarn over and then you just pull through the loop on your hook. And then you're just going to keep doing five double crochets into each of your five chain three loops. And when you come back to the beginning, come back and I'll show you what to do. Okay, so you're back to the beginning. And as you can see, you have one, two, three, four, five petals. We're going to slip stitch into that first single chain that we did. So right at the base here, go ahead and put your hook through there at the base, yarn over, and then pull through both loops on the hook. And then you're going to go to the inside. Here you can see, I call them spokes. One, two, three, four, five spokes. We're going to go into the center of that first spoke there. So go ahead and take your hook, go into that first spoke, yarn over, pull up, and then you're going to do a single chain, yarn over and pull through. So you have a single chain for that first spoke. Now you're going to chain two, one, two, and then you're going to go behind that second spoke yarn over and do a single chain. Yarn over and go through two. Then you're going to chain two, one, two, and then you're going to go behind the next spoke, yarn over and do a single chain. And then chain two, one, two, and then you're going to go behind the next spoke, yarn over, single chain, chain two, one, two, and then you're going to go to the next spoke, same thing, go behind it, yarn over, 
single chain and then chain two and then you're back to the beginning so now you're going to go on the other side of that spoke and do a single chain and then chain two one two and then you're going to slip stitch to the beginning where you started. We'll go right there. Slip stitch in, yarn over, and pull through both loops on the hook. And then you're going to slip stitch into that first chain two space. So here you can see your first chain two space. Go ahead, yarn over, and then pull through the loop on your hook for your first slip stitch. And then you're going to do three double crochets. There's one. Two. Three. So three double crochets in that chain two loop. Now we're going to slip stitch into the next chain two loop. So yarn over and just pull through the loop on your hook. And now you're going to do three double crochets in that one. So yarn over, go into that chain two, yarn over, you have three loops on the hook, yarn over, go through two, yarn over and go through two. So now you're going to do two more double crochets. And you can see how you're making your inner petals around the circle. So go ahead and do your petals, three double crochets into each chain two loop. And when you get back to the beginning, come back. Okay, so you should have finished your petals and you're back to where you started. Go ahead and slip stitch into that first chain two space, yarn over, and then just pull through the loop on your hook. Oop, let me draw that again. And then now we're going to finish off. So you go ahead and yarn over and then you pull enough yarn for sewing your flower onto the hat. Go ahead and cut it. And we have our flower. So we're going to go ahead and sew that onto the hat. So with your beanie or your hat, it's kind of hard to see it, but you can tell that there is a back seam to it. So I usually try to put that onto the back and flatten your hat like this. And then you can put your flower into the corner because we're going to put a ribbon through the double crochets there. So go ahead and sew your hat, your flower onto your hat. You just take your tapestry needle and take the small yarn piece first and then just go through where you want to place the flower and pull the, the yarn through and then take the longer yarn and put that onto the tapestry needle and you can see how the yarn end is towards the edge of the petal so you want to go through and bring it towards the inner part of the flower and then come through the center of the hat and you can see how the flower looks like this now you're going to take your tapestry needle from the inside and you're just going to sew the flower on around the spokes and then come back when you're done so you can see the hat all finished after you've sewn the flower on and how cute the baby looks inside the little cocoon also. And you can also put a ribbon right along here if you wanted to, but I thought that it looked cute without it. And that's your project.